look what I have there, a beautiful pizza. And the thing is, this pizza, I put it together in maybe 10 minutes, start to finish, including baking. It was so fast. This is so good, as you'll see, when you're just craving pizza, but you don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna take a piece. This is my lunch. I'm gonna have a nice bite. Mine has mushrooms and pepperoni. Oh, okay. Mmm. Mmm, 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 yum. Mmm. Does pizza ever disappoint, really? This is so crazy good. Truly super simple. Let me show you how to make it. All right, so the ingredients that you're gonna need to make this super simple pizza, you're gonna need some pizza sauce. Now I like to make my own, that's what this is, my own pizza sauce, but you could easily buy the kind in a can or a bottle or something like that. Then you need um, some kind of bread, like I love to use these flat pita breads. These are really great for that and I like the size, but you could also use <clears throat> English muffins too if you want. And I have things that are typically great on a pizza like shredded mozzarella cheese, I have some pepperoni, it's actually turkey pepperoni, and I love mushrooms on a pizza, so there's some sliced mushrooms. As for equipment, all you're gonna need is a pan, and I like to line the pan with foil for cleanup. That's it, so I'll show you how to put it together. So first of all, I've put the oven on broiler, and if your oven can't do broiler, or you don't wanna turn on the broiler, you could just turn it up to 450. But I like the broiler because of how it cooks the cheese. So what I did was I took one of the pita breads and I'm just gonna put it there. You could do it like this or like that. I've tried it both ways, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-bake this pita bread for about one minute. Why? Because I like pizza crust to have some crunch to it. And if I were just to put the toppings on right now and put it in there, you could do that. But the, the crust underneath would be pretty soft. If you don't care or if that sounds good to you, then you can skip this step, but this is gonna go into the broiler for about one minute and I'll come back. Okay, so it just came out of the oven for one minute in the broiler. So now I'm gonna take my pizza sauce and I'm just gonna put a spoonful on there, maybe a little bit more. And I like to use the back of the spoon to spread it around. Sometimes people wanna put a ton of sauce on the pizza but it just kind of makes it soggy and then sometimes your toppings will slide around. That looks like enough to me. So next I'm gonna go with some lovely mozzarella cheese that I shredded myself. I like shredding it myself better because pre-shredded cheese has cellulose or potato starch in it and I don't know, I don't like it as much, but you know what? If you have shredded mozzarella cheese or really Monterey Jack works well too. Any kind of cheese that's a good melty cheese, that would work. Okay, that looks good. Next, I'm gonna put on some of my pepperoni pieces. Like I said before, this is turkey pepperoni, so it's not quite the same as regular, but it's a little bit healthier. There's that. And I love mushrooms. So for me, a pizza absolutely has to have some mushrooms on it but this is where you could put whatever you like. If you like olives, bell peppers, um, the dreaded pineapple, whatever floats your boat on pizza. So, okay, that looks great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back into the broiler. The broiler cooks fast. So <clears throat> I'm gonna start with a minute. If a minute doesn't look like the cheese is <clears throat> quite done, nice and bubbly, then I'll go another minute, but you always have to watch with the broiler. Never like, to, oh, you know, I'll know when it's done. No, always set a timer because if you go too long, you're gonna have it burned on top and it's gonna make you unhappy. Okay, I'm gonna take this out when it's done. Look at that, look at that. It just came out. It was in the broiler, I think about two minutes. So it's not gonna be a lot of time. I have here some dry Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put a sprinkle on that just for a little bit of color. And it also adds a little bit of flavor there. I'm gonna let it cool down. Ooh, what a nice little lunch or snack 
or dinner, breakfast, who, who knows? So super easy. I hope you try this at home. You're really gonna like it if you want pizza quick.